Hi, this is Jeff of Tau Flare Mouse. For the last couple of years, I've been wanting to see just how far we can effectively shoot a wax slug. Now, we all first heard about the wax slugs from Barry from Iraq Veteran 88888. Using just a birdshot shell, you heat up wax and shot, pour it back into the shell, and now you have this kind of crude but very simple slug. Good afternoon, Tau Flater folks, and welcome back. Hey, today, uh, Jeff, OG, and guest shooter Matt are out here today. We're gonna be shooting some wax slugs for you. Jeff crafted these up special. These are precision wax slugs. And you've asked for it in the comment section. We're gonna give them some distance tests. We're gonna start these things out at 50 yards. Then we're gonna work our way up to 75 yards, 100 yards, all the way out to 200 yards and see if we can hit a big steel drum out there. So these have been uh, handcrafted, standard old wax slug style, but then Jeff uh, did a little precision engineering, a little German engineering there on top, filing off the uh, the uh, nose of the round. So we've got multiple col colors here for you. So uh, just to make you proud this month. <laughs> Other than that, let's get to it. We're gonna throw them into this Benelli and see what we can do. Okay, 50 yards, whenever you're ready. Okay, here we go. Here we go. At 50 yards, the wax slug is actually pretty accurate. It is tumbling around like crazy. It's got the aerodynamics of a, of a soup can, but you can't beat that kind of accuracy for something that is so primitive and home-brewed. You can't shoot, you know that? You can't shoot. That's 50 yards with a wax slug dead center of that X, and that's with a bead sight and no rear sight. Looks like ostrich skin boots here. Those are uh, individual pellets. Once they hit the steel on the uh, front side, they broke up and started patterning on the back. Yep, it's kind of rangeable cool. slug. It's kind of cool. Hi, I'm Matt, and I'm going to shoot another one of the precision wax slugs, also at 50 yards. Same setup. Have you ever shot that gun before? No. Okay, so there you go. First <laughs> shot, no practice shots. We don't give anyone practice shots here. So uh, go ahead and load her up. There you go. Let's show what bird, this normal bird shot does at 50 yards. As a, just a comparison. So whenever you're ready. This is the same federal target load we made our wax slugs out of, but look how anemic that shot is. And it just barely managed to go 50 yards. We're now at 100 yards. We decided to skip 75 and all that other stuff. You want to go open sights or use your... Uh... Go open sights and see where it lands. Okay. Stupid Americans yards. there. Imperial system, I tell you. <laughs> go ahead. All right. 100 yards. Purple X. Oh, okay. 100 yards. Shot two. Whenever you're ready. It's low but centered. Oh, that think that one must have broken apart. Broke apart. Yeah. All right, we're going high this time. Oh, that went over it. Holy shit! But left? It was more or less on on target, I think. Just high. That was high again. Seriously. It went a good 200 yards though. Yeah, I was trying for. Uh, Top edge of the barrel, so. <laughs> skipped way down there, too. You're still shooting high. Wow. Well, that's funny because some of them dropped, and then now I'm aiming right. Yeah, on. don't go by the last shot. Okay. I'm going to go right on then. <laughs> okay. Oh, that, I think that was very close. I feel like I'm just wasting all these shells. <laughs> Well, we may have figured out what the effective range of these things are. All right, one more here. Oh, oh very I close. Did a little bit. I Something thought. hit? I thought I heard a little bit. Yeah, of me too. All right, we're going to try 100 yards. We're going to move over to the Weather BPA 459 with a little red dot sight. That bead sight was a little bit hard to see that barrel or the X on the barrel out at 100 yards. So let's give it a try with a little bit more precise aiming dot and see if that helps. Okay, I'm ready. Just, just, just to the left. That might have been wind again, but I felt like that was... 
Ready to go still? Yep. A little to the right. Finally, yep. 100 yards. That was just held right on. So. Yeah, you definitely hear when you hit. Oh, hit he it. hit it. Low and left, about. You uh, hit it. That's that's it. Yep, seven o'clock. One first shot. Here's Greg's shot. A little high. High and slightly left. Matt, low and slightly left. Still a hit. I think our slightly left is due to the wind out here, but yeah, the wind's going this way. Pretty good gust, actually. Let me turn this around for you. You can see pellets again here. I don't think we have any visible pellets down there. Yeah, it just broke it up. Killed most of the energy. First chamber around. Right to the uh, right to the left. Right to the left. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but no. Okay, keep on going. Oh, it's close. It's still, you can see where the dust, the direction of the wind, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> wind carrying that left? I think so. It's my theory. <laughs> Which is never right, but. Okay, go ahead. They're all going to the left. You, you leftist? I'm. Lean left. That one fell short too. Yeah, I may have broken up. They'll do that. <laughs> These things are just sitting in the sun. They're not melting because if you keep them in the shade, they uh, they don't melt. That's uh, one of the myths. Okay, go ahead. So that one landed in front of it. It, yep. it could have splattered it with shot still. Almost to the bottom of the box. I got another box. Yeah, we got these three. That one just went. I saw something way out there. About four or five hundred yards. Yeah. Nothing hit that barrel? No. I heard a weird echo, but I don't think I didn't hear That's a clunk. Jeez. Left. Swear to God, this is like throwing soup cans. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna hold right. Scattering along in front of it. Yep. Now Matt is gonna take a few shots. Matt on the gat. Oh, left over its shoulder, but that elevation seemed to be right. Something bounced onto it. Yeah, I think I think some shot hit it. Skipped off the road and hit it, but there was a ting down there. Oh, left so close. Skip. Maybe held it a little further. Right. It's tough to judge that wind, huh? Yeah, it is. I, th I think the wind has. It's they're all left. They're yeah. all left. Yeah. I was holding top right corner and they were still hitting the left in the dirt. Oh, I went way left yeah. and long. It's a total crap shoot. Yeah. It's like throwing a bean bag in a cornhole. Yeah. <laughs> Which isn't as bad as it sounds. <laughs> <laughs> oh! He hit it! So, with something, yeah. Something hit it. I heard a clunk. Okay. A clunk. Split in the steel there, hit the X, hit the leg of the X. Yeah, 150 yards with a wax slug. And still some little uh, little sprinkles of shot. Yeah. That's pretty cool, look at that. 150 yards. It took a lot a lot to get there, but. <laughs> oh, look at this, this be cool. Gotta bust out that knife, man. Uh, I do, oh, here you go. That makes you more manly when you show the knife. Well, that's right, I gotta have a weapon in the shot they Yeah. This is a uh, blade tech made for 511. <laughs> If anybody wants to know. Never heard of it. Yep. Mike, uh, somebody designed. Looks like a little dead frog there. Yeah. I don't know if that would kill you or not. 
<coughs> All I know is you better send this barrel to Matt at Desecration Ranch <laughs> so he can shoot it with a 50 cal or yeah, else we'll, this test we'll, is invalid. I'll put a, we'll mail it. Put to... a couple of stamps right here. Yeah. Because unless it's shot with a 50 cal, it doesn't hold up on YouTube. That's true. You gotta shoot with a 50 cal. <laughs> Okay, we're out, we're at 200 yards now. 200 yards. That's I think it's If my math is correct, that's better than 100 yards. That's more than that's almost twice as much as 100 yards. That's like 20 millimeters, isn't it? Yes. Okay. Really? <laughs> if you can get within 10 feet of that thing, I'll eat my hat or something. <laughs> okay, go ahead. Up. Oh. Not within 10. Fell short. It skipped along and almost hit it. Skipped, but still hit I was surprised it actually skipped and didn't disintegrate. Yes, but hit halfway in between though, and I'm holding way over. We might have to use the long distance uh, 10,000 meter. Oh, that was within 10 feet, I bet. It's still, still, the wind again is blowing that way, and every shot seems to be going that way. Hold it way right and see what happens, just for the heck of it. Oh. That was, that was way right of the barrel and high. I saw it hit, the, hit it about 150 yards. Yeah, yeah, it hit short, but I, oh, okay. I, I held the dot high and right. Make sure your breathing technique is good. Sure, Coriolis effect. Yeah. A little bit further, but in the road. I can't believe how much the wind affects those. It's not a coincidence. Yeah. No melted wax slugs yet, huh? <laughs> it's 95 plus out here today, ladies and gentlemen. Like uh, 33, 33. And here comes the F-18s. Yeah, I mean, oh, see that shadow? Yeah. F-18 shadow. That's cool. Okay, one more and then we'll we'll break out my special long range gun. I'm gonna go way high. I think it hit the, the tractor trailer out in the freeway out there. <laughs> I was aiming over that. So. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, I've got the I made this I mean I bought this uh <laughs> Uh, volley site. Are you sure you didn't get it with a free set of pancakes? I, I might have gotten it with uh, with a uh, chicken pot pie. <laughs> it's, it, a, it's a plastic. Let me show that thing. It's a it's a thing. plastic knife that I drilled incremental holes in. This is about as ghetto as you can get. Got this site, this slide here for reference, and uh, it's basically a, a volley site like on an old World War One style rifle. Sure. It, you have it backwards though. Okay, that the increments on that are, go from 200 to uh, 10,000 meters. So that should extend our, our our power of our shotgun. Oh, sure. It's like putting a 200 mile an hour speedometer in your Volkswagen. <laughs> It'll make you run faster too. Yes. Okay, 200 yards with volley sight. Whenever this, you're ready. If this hits, I'm gonna eat my truck. Okay. Can get behind this site. <laughs> it went, it went way beyond it. I saw a splash way out there, about, about 400 plus yard, maybe 500 yards. All right, lowest increment here. Yeah, we we're just at too close of a range here. <laughs> it likes it, it starts kicking in at about 400 yards. It's made. <laughs> It's made for ship-to-ship -ship combat. <laughs> yes, over the horizon. Right. Okay. Lowest increment. <laughs> oh, it's man. way out there. That was like 400 yards. Yeah. That, I think I think we're just beyond its uh, range. That's true. We're we're just shooting too close for this site. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you just... got to aim like way low. I think. Yeah. Okay, I got one slightly of 250 yards and to the left. Oh, okay. I didn't even see where that one splashed. <laughs> I would think you'd see big clouds of dust kicking up, but... Oh, 
Oh, that was a low one. Okay. I was aiming low, but that was too low. Yeah, if there's anything that makes throwing soup cans at a target harder, it was your calibrated sight. <laughs> All right. What the hell? Yeah, I don't think our, my my uh, sight is working very well. It's too sh too close of a range. All right, one ounce Foster Slug Winchester Super X, sixteen hundred feet per second. Let's see if a uh, how close a, a Foster Slug can get get to that barrel at two hundred yards. Using this cheap Chinese optic versus the high calibrated uh, German one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, make sure your sight is, is set for yards this time and not meters. Ooh. It bounced off the road and hit it. Okay, but that gives me an idea where we are. Yep. These things don't carry as much in the wind either. No. Ready? Yep. A lot closer. Yeah, short. Again, to the left. Left us. Foot. Okay, do one more just for the road. All right, one more. See if we can finally connect it. Okay, well, Either on the side not much better. I mean, it. well, uh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so it looked like you grazed it with the foster slug. That's what we, the one we, maybe it might have hit the ground and, and grazed it, took some of the paint off the side. To the that barrel used to be several colors apparently so right now it's just green yeah <laughs> but uh yeah I, mean, I thought the foster slugs would be a little more uh consistent and we seem to have just as much problem trying to hit it 200 yards well we were impressed at what they did with 100 yards and 150 yards that's, yeah yeah that's pretty good for a homemade slug and that 50 yard initial shot was dead on you know yeah, that uh this guy right over here yeah was, that's a that was crazy that was like a fluke or something <laughs> here comes the navy to give theirs a their shot at it yeah